This morning on Today's Fitness, a personal training session from a Hollywood fitness guru. Gunnar Peterson is the man behind many of today's hottest celebrity bodies. He's helped shape beauties like Jennifer Lopez, Angelina Jolie, and Lucy Liu, not to mention Ben Affleck and Matthew McConaughey. Now you can make Gunnar Peterson's workout part of your routine with his book, G-Force, The Ultimate Guide to Your Best Body Ever. Gunnar, good morning. Good morning. Thanks I like being me. a Hollywood guru, fitness guru. That's uh, an overused term. It is an overused term, but yeah. listen here. This is something that I find very interesting about your own personal story. You struggle, you say, with weight, weight gain, the possibility of weight gain yourself. And you have, for all 16 years, you have been a personal trainer, uh, and in part this is because this has been an issue for your family. Well, you know, everybody makes choices every day. It says in the book, uh, you'll see every workout starts with a, a clean slate and every meal starts with a clean plate. So you make the choices. You may have uh, fat in your family. You may you may have people who have diseases, but you can make these choices. You made those choices. Your mom struggled with her weight. You, as a young man, struggled with your weight, as I, a child. I made those choices this morning before I came over here. Mm. You know, there's things in the mini bar, and then there's things that you bring with you to make sure you make the right choices so you feel yourself efficiently. You, we talked about earlier how you train a lot of celebrities, and we've got to tell you, they look pretty darn good, all the people I've mentioned. There are many more on your list who look fantastic. So do they have uh, issues, questions different than what, you're, than what you would expect from people who are non-celebrities who you also all train? the same all it's the all same. same sure that they before okay, they so, were what's, so what are they asking what do they say they want well their their biggest thing is scheduling they have to find a way to get in in their hectic lifestyle they also have to find a way to make the right choices in that same hectic lifestyle so if things aren't available to them you know they're they're also subject to what's out there so they they got a plan too so what do you say to people who say as you said uh, it's not that you've been dealt a bad hand it's that you've been playing it wrong over the years how do you change people's thinking you, to make them take charge of their own health you tell them to take five minutes a day before or have an assistant take five minutes a day before and, and lay a foundation plan it out so you have so you know what you're gonna do where you're gonna be you want to fuel every three to four hours so your body so your blood sugar levels don't dip which also puts you in a place where you're gonna make the or you're more likely to make the wrong choice so make it a focus take yeah. care of yes. yourself you say if you don't have four fitness factors it's like driving a car without all four wheels okay. on exactly your car right and and these factors are aerobic training what, right? Resistance training, right. nutrition. And hydration, which is key. And, Water's key. And, and, you know, rest and recovery, I think, is an area that most people fail in. It is. And a lot, uh, a lot of times when you get closer to your goal, uh, people think, well, I'll add an extra half mile or I'll add an extra two sets. Instead of doing that, you may need to add an extra hour of sleep mm. because that's when your body rebuilds from what you've torn down in the gym or in the activities that you do. I find that if I don't sleep, I snack more and yep. it's harder for me to work out. Well, and that's also your, that's a little trust issue with your body. Your body doesn't want to give up anything because it perceives that as a stressor, doesn't know when you're going to give it the sleep again, and doesn't know when you're going to feed it, so it holds on, it holds everything. As we take a walk over here to some of uh, your, the, your ideas in terms of how to exercise, you know what I find is really interesting, a lot of people I know who really get serious about working out, mm -hmm. uh, get serious when they lose a, sp a spouse maybe to a disease, or usually a parent, and they realize, oh my gosh, I am mortal and I, and I really have to take care of myself. I mean, it really is this idea. And we should, we do want to look good. But really, the true motivation is to live a long life, isn't it's it? It's longevity and quality of life while you're living. You want to make sure that you, uh, you know, everybody spends so much time working to earn money, to give themselves uh, power and freedom to make choices, to do great, wonderful, fun things in their life. But if you're at a place where you're out of shape or, or you can't function, what have you done at all for? Okay, so show us something. You know, we hear, we see exercises all the time, but you actually have an yeah. idea that we, that you don't just do it. Show us what the idea is. You want to work from a functional standpoint. Clearly, the aesthetic value, we're a very visual society. That's a great benefit, but mm -hmm. you want to do something that's also going to help you. So instead of just a standing shoulder press, you may add a squat press because you're going to do that in real life when you put a big box back up in the closet, we put your winter clothes away. Or you may add a squat with a twisting press. So you're mm -hmm. rotating, you're engaging the core, which is what fires first for any activity, any movement you do. And that's very similar to putting something up on a high shelf or putting a bag in the overhead bin. Those are things that people, that's where you hurt yourself. Interesting to see a muscular man like you using a five pound weight. Well, you know, I work with what I have. No, no, that, but, but do you normally work with a lighter weight? In other words, I think sometimes we get so focused on pre bench pressing right. so much weight yep. when in fact what we just really should be doing is something a little more sane. Well, you want to think of a couple things. You want to think of training the joints first. You want to think of training the movement second. You want to think of training the muscles third because the muscles will grow. They're ready to go. But the joints is where the injuries occur and the movement is where the injuries occur. That's what that's what people find out when they start these when they start these uh, workouts. And, and I know that Katie in your uh, state and and <laughs> now, you are all How are you? really enticed what do you by mean, my state? No, in your state of having <laughs> this call. And now, and now, you really 
are excited about working out this week. Yeah, definitely. But this is really great advice. It seems to be working for all of these stars. Yeah, no, Gunner's a terrific trainer. I hear great things about you from all my star friends. Anyway, no, I'm kidding. No, but we have some mutual friends. But anyway, I just want to mention one thing, too. We're talking about getting healthy, and Ann and I are both wearing red this morning because it's National National Wear Red Day for Women because it's sponsored by the American Heart Association for women to take charge of their heart health. That's, that's right. I think that's I think that's extremely important. I mean, it's the number one cause of death in America is heart disease. So it's a major thing that we should all be thinking about. And apparently, it kills about one woman a minute in this country. Wow. So it's one good. One out to of every three women will die of heart disease. Right. Which is another reason to work out. It is, and that you know that applies to men too. It's right, true. it definitely yep. does. All right, right. Gunner, thank you so much. Gunner Peters. Thank you. And Thanks, we're going to leave you this morning with one more song from Maroon 5. This one's called Must Get Out. Have a great weekend. Enjoy the Super Bowl, everybody. That's my theme song right now. Yeah. <laughs>